Hello, I'm here with my friend Jeanette Herdman. You all might know her from Scrap and Style TV. And I wanted to show her the new God Girl Bible because she is a artist extraordinaire. And the stuff that she can do with this new cover, it's gonna be awesome. So I wanted to show you this. I know I gave you like a, a, a sample one before, yes. but the, the new ones are here. The fake one without any words. Yeah, this one actually I kinda has. like to write my own Bible. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not from it's a God. Show. I know, I'm sorry. All right, so have a look. Oh, uh, Haley, oh my gosh. Yes. Look and inside. words. Yes, it's so good. exciting. Yes. Oh my goodness. It's, I cannot wait to show you some of the things that I've good. done with it, with the okay. fake one. Yeah. I can't wait to see what they look right. like on the real thing. Well, let's have a look. All right. I want to see it. Show us. All right. Well, first thing is collage. Collage is huge right now, whether you do fabric collage or paper collage. Okay. So my first one was this cute little owl. Owls are also Love really that. Sweet. I oh, love that. Cute. Huh? I love owls. They're so cute. I, know. And this is great I don't know who Kyle is, but I really like that name. So. <laughs> All right, and this one, this actually is my encrusted wow. button glitter cross. I know. It's, you made that? The whole thing? I did. It's it's just chipboard. I just put some buttons on there yeah. and glitter, and it's Great. like, it's quite shiny. So what do you cool. think? I love it. I like I love it. it. All right. Nobody will have a button right. like that. No, definitely not. All right, here is some masking techniques that I use with okay. spray paint. I had some masks. So super easy, super quick but a really great kind of graphic statement. Yeah, that's nice. All right, this one is just, basically I traced some vintage wrapping paper from the 70s, that's mm -hmm. like super groovy. That's really good. And then just transferred it onto there and colored it in, real easy and fun. Oh, I can't wait to find out. I know, and look, this one you may think, oh no, don't sew through my Bible, but don't worry, I'm not going to. I just sewed onto this like burlap fabric uh -huh. and then I glued it on to oh, the that's substrate. Great. So yeah, yeah so that's super great. cool. Just kind of did a little stamping, just kind of a little combination uh -huh. sewing thing. Yeah. All right, this is some stencil work that um, I did with some cool um, artist acrylic paints and just really super easy and a bit real sparkly and shiny. Yeah. See, ooh, I don't oh, know if the great. camera can see that, but it's super that's metallic awesome. and sparkly. All right, and here is just some doodling. Look at how lovely my freehand is. Uh -huh. Just kidding, I didn't do that. <laughs> it's a stencil, but it looks like I did, huh? Yeah, so, it's And just great. that gives you that doodly look, which is super popular right this now. This is so much better than what I did. Oh, no, well, <laughs> hey, this is like, I live for crafting. These so. are great. These are just oh, kind of backgrounds. Like I love this, I know. Just, I want this one. you know, total ribbon collage, super easy to yeah. put them down. And then we'll put a name or something on there, just yeah. kind of a background. Right. This is kind of a, just a, one that I didn't really finish, but it's a cool, it's super easy. This is just uh -huh. um, crepe paper. I thought so. I yeah, I glued it down with some Mod Podge, uh -huh. and then I just like used like an eyedropper and uh, sprinkled, sprinkled, dropped uh -huh. some bleach on it, and oh, kind of gave a real kind of, okay. re almost like a reverse yeah. tie-dye kind of that's, a thing. That's cool. And then I was going to put a sun, like just more collage -y kind of yeah. things on there, but I didn't okay. really have time to finish that one. Okay. And then this is just like a faux texture. This is really easy because it's a paper towel. Basically, oh, I just no ripped way. up pieces of paper towel and Mod Podge them onto this. <laughs> And then let it dry. It has this cool effect. And then kind of dry brush some different paints over it. So could and, you do that you know, with any kind of? I mean, you used paper towel. Could you use like newspaper or? Can you, you could. Yeah, you can collect. Yeah, you can do anything paper. like that when you have the right medium, like mm -hmm. a Mod Podge oh, or a gel medium. Yeah, okay. it's super easy, and um, you can't really mess it up. That's a great thing. But they all look incredibly mm -hmm. unique, and you know. This is something that I did. This is oh, just wow. some mask, like using some tape and masking and making kind of my own plaid uh -huh. uh, thing. And um, there's some tape on this as well as just painting and the mask nice. and just kind of a fun for a background. And then you just can put your name and stickers yeah. or whatever, rub-ons and That's the really thing I like the layering it, so. is what you want to do, exactly. right? Exactly. It makes it look more handmade. Exactly. Way. Just the yeah, texture and the dimension, it really, you know, and it's easy. Yeah. It is. These aren't hard techniques at all. Trust yeah. me, I have no fine motor skills at all, cannot draw, <laughs> cannot paint, but I love crafting and so yeah. I've worked really hard to learn techniques and I would love to share some with you well, if you're interested. Do it. would love to see them. All right. Yeah. These are great. I hope you all are inspired and I want to see what everybody else has to do. So get on godgirl.com and show us uh, your art.